Hey guys, this is Ergo Josh here, and I just wanted to do a quick video telling how you know you're improving. I've been making it my extreme priority to improve as much as I can this year, and I've noticed quite a lot of things, and I've learned quite a few things, and uh, I've heard that as soon as you feel like you can share something, as soon as you feel like you can give back, then you should start doing it. So that's why I'm making this video. One of the first most important things I've learned is that I do things in less time. And this is in comparison to how I've done art and how I've, I've approached portraits and things like that since I was um, in middle school. I had all the time in the world and I would end up spending over 30 hours on some of my most grandiose portraits. Um, now that I'm in the workforce, now that I'm working, I find that I'm able to do it much faster. I can get a sketch and a rendered face out even though right now I'm avoiding hair and um, a lot of other extra things. I'm able to do that in less than a week and it would take me weeks upon weeks when I was in school and I had much more time back then. As you kind of compress the time that you're allowed, you kind of force yourself to improve in that way and then you just start doing it faster. One other thing I've also noticed is that you begin to slowly predict and visualize how something would look based on, let's say, your favorite artists or artists that you spend a lot of time looking at, studying their work. This can be a bad thing uh, if you focus on one artist too much because you never want to end up virtually copying everything they do. You want to do it in a way where you're always consuming different artists that inspire you so that you're just welling up with all of this new um, creativity. But going back to the original statement, I begin to notice that sometimes I can see, oh, um, I can see how Art Gerb would start this eye out because he's very um, advanced with how he will draw an eye. He'll just go straight to it without any guidelines and they're usually very sleek, thin, feminine eyes. And sometimes even in reality, I'll notice that. But yeah, you always want to make sure that you're varying your sources of inspiration. Um, I'm probably going to get into that more in later videos about the importance of style and how I've begun to even see it develop in myself, um, because that's heavily related to what type of artworks you're consuming and what type of media you're consuming. One thing I've learned um, in my studies here is that it takes a very trained eye to see the world as an artist and creator. Um, there is a lens of familiarity and just monotony that everyone on earth has when they go through day-to-day -day life. They go to work, they come back home, they enjoy their videos and they go to sleep and they do it all over again. Or some people, even if they are having a much more entertaining life, they just take it in as what it is. But us as artists and creators, we have an ability to see something and imagine it at an even grander version or we can take something that we've thought of ourselves and put it into the world. Um, you can be walking down the street and just imagine, you know, a scene from Transformers going on, whereas someone else is just looking at all of the um, cars and looking at their makes and models and what's going on in the area and different things like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you, you begin to see the world as a different place. It's, you begin to see a lot more beauty and creativity and you get inspired and it just becomes so fascinating to just step outside your house every day. And uh, yeah, that's something I, I need to do more of because it's really easy to say, oh, I need to stay here and I need to catch up on drawing. I need to make all this, all of this progress. I can't let anything get in my way, but it's so important to take time out to just go and observe the world and experience it and as you continue to improve in your art your ability to absorb gets so much better and that's very important to improving one of my most favorite ways to tell that i'm learning and improving is that sometimes i begin to visualize what i'm doing finished or semi-finished on the paper as i work and it'll sometimes happen for just a second or maybe um as I'm going, I'll draw a circle and then my brain is like, okay, I can fill in a little bit more. I can give you a little bit of a hint of what else you should draw. And I feel like this is really key to becoming a performing artist 
that can work in a live um, environment or get work done quickly within an eight-hour day that can produce content for either a studio or for a client if you're freelancing. Um, an artist I discovered in the past few months, Kim Jong Ji, he can do this nearly almost a hundred percent. He's like working live with his brain. It just for him to be able to draw the way he does, he must be able to project what he imagines onto the paper and just trace over it. And that's an amazing skill to have, and everyone can develop it to some extent. I've been doing a lot of thinking and experimenting on this, and um, I'm looking forward to kind of sharing my theories once I've made a little bit more progress. And then I think the most important way to tell that you're learning is your ability to critique yourself will improve. You really need to develop a sharp eye for perspective, anatomy, proportion, and all of those things. And that can only improve by continuously taking in really excellent, high quality work and always critiquing yourself. Um, some of us have a natural personality for it. Like for me, for instance, I don't have to try. By the end of every piece, even the one you're watching right now, I am. 50% disappointed and 50% proud of myself because there's some things I know I did better and some areas I know I pushed myself through but there are also areas where I'm like okay this isn't <laughs> what I wanted it to be like but I'm going to hit that area hard as I can next time um, but yeah you should always go back to your old work not only is it a great source of confidence because you will see some improvement but you need to be able to see, oh, that's an, a real problem I had. I couldn't draw this. I couldn't get the eyes to be at the right location. Um, I could never draw the nose in perspective or something like that. You'll, you'll notice kind of trends and you'll be able to attack it really hard and get it done and fixed um, much better than someone who just draws and draws and draws and draws the next portrait from the next portrait from the next portrait or whatever you're doing and doesn't really pay attention, slow down, and analyze what's really going on here. But yeah, it's it's very important. You should always be looking at your other stuff. Um, I still go back on DeviantArt sometimes in the forums, which are extremely active, and you'll see people looking for critiques, and it's just amazing how there's something so obvious. And But I have to remember, like I was at a place like that too, where I couldn't even place the nose on a face I would just draw it over and over and over again when I used to draw manga and I was just like why doesn't it look good it doesn't look like this guy's and you, you really get an eye for that as you begin to critique yourself and if you don't have it naturally just sit down and really spend time and pour over it sometimes you'll get a headache and you just have to come back to it later but you are making progress art is one of the most if not the most difficult thing to improve on because you cannot measure your progress by small amounts. They happen extremely gradually and you have to fight to see it. I used to be much, much skinnier than I was now and I gained a lot of weight by going to work out and eat right and eat healthy and all of that. Um, and in a few days I could tell a difference it was amazing. I, people say you can't, but I could because you'll just, you know your own body, you can tell. And then in a month, everyone can tell a change. And so, but in art, you can't tell. There's no way to test. Sometimes you'll go back. If you don't warm up, you'll just not be able to draw something. Like in this portrait right now, in the beginning sketching stages, I was like, okay, I'm wasting my time again. I'm not doing something right, this looks completely wrong, it looks like a man, it's not accurate whatsoever. But I knew that already, and I was just like, forget it, just keep drawing, just ignore that thought. And eventually, I felt good again, I'm like, okay, this is better. So if you're trying to get better with your art, I commend you because it's a very difficult task. It's extremely hard to measure, and there's no one to really tell you that you're improving unless you have an apprenticeship and yeah so it's it's challenging it's tough but it's extremely rewarding uh, i guess that's all i have to say for now on this topic and uh
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for to those of you who are following me on Instagram. I really appreciate your support. It's it's amazing to see how many people are interested in what I'm doing and in my journey. And uh, yeah, I'll have a new video next week, hopefully as always. And I will see you next time. Peace.